Hi, my name is Matt Newmark from Elite Defense Systems. What I'd like to cover in this lesson is, is street ground fighting. In the day and age of the Ultimate Fighting Championships, it's very tempting to think that if we would get into a ground altercation in a real life street fight, we'd be looking for that arm bar to save our lives. That is obviously untrue. If you're ever tackled or pushed down to the ground in a real life altercation, we're not going to be looking necessarily for submission moves. Now, hear me on this. I would never say that we would never ever use them, but it, I am saying is it should not be the first tool that you're looking for. You see, tournament ground fighters, although I have all the respect in the world for their dedication and the intensity that they train at, they're simply lacking the tools to get them out of a real life kind of an altercation. When we're dealing with ground fighting from a pure self-defense standpoint, submission moves like arm bars, choke holds, knee bars, and ankle locks shouldn't be second in our mind. The first thing that should be in our mind are beyond strikes using our elbows, knees, headbutts, biting, eye gouging, and even pinching. So what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to take Kevin out here and Chad. These two guys are going to be ground fighting. Kevin, for the most part, is going to be the attacker, while Chad is going to be the good guy. The good guy is going to be using not submission moves, but biting and eye gouging and striking with various tools to get themselves off the ground. Now, in this format, we're simply training. We're simply training. What Chad would do to follow through with this drill is not only use these tools, but then get up and get out. In this facet, what we're going to be doing is, is Chad's just going to be training these tools over and over again. So instead of having him get up and get back down again, he's just going to stay down and start simulating all these tools. Guys, go ahead and start. Good. Now, Kevin, go on the attack a little bit more. Now, Chad, really throw in the bites and the eye gouges. Kevin, take him down. You get superior position now. Get out of there, Chad. Use your bites and eye gouges. Time. Great, you guys take a break. Now, now this next drill what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and we're doing the exact same thing, but it's going to be quick and it's going to be simple. So what's going to happen now is, Joe's going to go ahead and take me down. I'm going to be doing the exact same tools Chad was doing, but now I'm going to do them from a very, very kind of survival standpoint. You're going to see me put them on and then get up and get out of the situation. I will come back to the training area and re-engage, but obviously that is only to continue my training. Go.
So to review, what we just did in that training module is we now used our tools like the biting, the eye gouging, the close quarter tools, but they're for one goal, to get up and survive, not just keep on grappling. Keep that in mind.